Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. This is Your Journey Yoga and today we are going to just get the energy flowing and get the day started off on the right foot. So to the top of the mat we go and we're just going to rock forward and back on those feet. And I just want you to feel the soles of your feet against the earth. I want you to wiggle your toes when you're back on those heels. I just want you to feel what's going on in the ankles, in the legs, even in the belly. So as you transition your weight forward and back, those core muscles are engaging. We're feeling what's going on through those hips. Let's go ahead and sink down into those heels. Nice flat feet against the earth. Feel the earth against those feet. Roll those shoulders up and back and let those shoulders slide down and away. Do that again. Big shoulder roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, left hand comes down. Right arm reaches high. We lift our gaze to the sky. Inhale, both arms come up and exhale, the other side. Lengthen and reach. Oh, one up towards the sky, one down towards the ground. Inhale, reach. Both arms come up. Exhale one more time. Left arm down, right arm high. Inhale, both arms come up, and exhale, last time, standing lateral flexion. Inhale, reach to the sky, turn your palms to face front, spread your fingers wide, exhale, and cactus arms, squeeze those elbows back, oh, squeeze those shoulder blades, open that chest. Inhale, reach it up, and exhale, pull it back. Two more times, inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. Inhale, reach and exhale pull inhale reach to the sky and as you exhale release that left arm down right forearm crosses the crown of the head and gently pull your head to the right relax the weight of your right hand reach with those left fingertips down towards the earth inhale right arm comes up exhale switching sides left arm up right arm down cross the crown of the head and gently pull to the left relax the weight of that left hand and then reach with those right fingertips down towards the earth breathe slow steady breaths inhale left arm reaches high right arm reaches high pull the hands to heart center Shift your weight to your right foot and let's take a giant step back with that left leg coming into our crescent lunge. You're welcome to bring that back knee down if you like, otherwise knee is off. Inhale, lift the le or straighten the leg a little bit, lifting high, and then sink. Again, inhale, straighten, and exhale, sink. As you rise, extend those arms. As you exhale, bend the elbows, bring the back of the hands uh, towards the back of the head. Inhale, extend the arms and sink hands to heart center. Inhale, rise. As you bend that right knee, bend the elbows, hands come behind the head. Inhale, extend those arms and pull it back to heart center one more time. Inhale, reach. As you sink back into that right leg, bend the elbows, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, reach and exhale sink extend the arms to the sky big circle of those arms back hands on either side of your foot lift your hips sweep it back and extend right leg to the sky as you exhale cross that right knee to your left wrist inhale extend exhale right knee right wrist and extend so anywhere between the wrist and the elbow is absolutely fine pull it across left arm and extend it back inhale draw it into the right arm and extend it back sweeping that right foot through left foot steps in to forward fold bringing the hands to the elbows we hold on and gently sway side to side Big, full, deep breaths. So that was a good morning. Yeah. Uh, strength. Fluid movement. Efficient motion. Finding your breath. Coming back to center, release those arms, and ever so slowly, roll it on up. Packing a lot of stuff into a short time. Always a beautiful thing. Roll those shoulders up and back. Shoulder blades slide down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky. Shifting your weight to your left foot, hands to heart center. Take a giant step back. 
breathe, crescent lunge, inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit, and exhale, sink, this time we add those arms, inhale, extend the arms, stand tall, and then exhale, bend that left knee, bend the elbows, hands come behind your head, inhale, extend the arms, extend the leg, and exhale, hands to heart center, Inhale, rise, extend the arms. Exhale as you sink, bend the elbows, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that once more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink, bend the elbows, hands to the back of the head. Inhale, rise. And exhale, sink. Stay low. Extend those arms to the sky. Big circle of those arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Lift your hips. Sweep it back. And extend. Left leg to the sky. On your next inhale, cross that left knee over to that right arm. Anywhere between the uh, wrist and the elbow. And extend it back. Inhale, pull it in. Left arm. And exhale, press it back. Inhale, draw it in once again, right arm, and exhale, extend it back. One more time, inhale, left arm, and extend it back. Sweeping that left foot back through, right foot steps in to forward fold. Relaxing the weight of the upper body. Head heavy. Bring the hands to the elbows. We shift the weight forward into the toes. And then to the heels. To the toes. And again to the heels. Keeping the weight in the heels, release your arms. Bring your big toes to touch. Little space between those heels. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Fingertips to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse one dive up. And as you exhale, shift your weight to your heels, sit to chair. Arms can remain overhead. You are welcome to pull those hands to heart center. Find that space that feels right to you. Even out your weight. We hinge it forward, staying low in those legs. Arms sweep back to flight. Tummy and chest kind of just resting against those thighs. Rolling those shoulders up and back. Still very, very active through the core. So our upper body weight is not just laying on those legs. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. We pull those hands to heart center as we lift the chest. And rise. Reach to the sky. Palms stay touching. Spread your fingers wide and exhale. Arch it back. Little back bend. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, rock it back to your heels. Open up those feet. Inhale up to monkey, fingertips to shins. And exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Hold your plank. You are welcome to release that left knee to the mat. Otherwise, keep your legs long. We shift our weight to our left hand. Right arm extends to the sky. Your feet can be staggered or you can stack your feet. We turn and take our gaze to the sky. Lifting those hips. Rotating that right palm towards the front. Reach it up and over. Lifting that right leg. Bending that right knee. Stepping the toes behind us. Keeping your heel lifted. Roll your tummy and chest open as you lengthen and reach through those right fingertips. Wild thing. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky. Follow with your gaze. Slowly we roll it back to our side plank. Releasing that right hand down, coming back to plank, and we go directly into the other side. Right knee can come down if you like. Otherwise, legs stay long. Left arm extends to the sky. If you can be staggered or stacked, you decide what's right for you. Lengthen and lift out of that left shoulder, rotating that left palm towards the front. Reach it up and over. We lift that left leg, bend the left knee, step that left foot behind us. We're up on the ball of the foot as we roll the tummy and chest open to the sky, lifting through the belly, through the pelvis, lengthening through those left fingertips. We lift that left arm straight to the sky, following with your gaze, rolling it back to side plank. 
and slowly release your hand down, coming back to plank. Lift your hips to down dog and inhale to high plank. Exhale to down dog, reach that right hand back towards the left leg. Inhale it back to plank. Exhale, left hand towards the right leg. Inhale it back to plank. Let's do that one more time each side. Use those exhales to reach back. Inhale is to come forward. Last one. Inhale to plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. Open up those knees. Press it back to extended child's pose. Reaching out through those fingertips, forehead towards the mat. And breathe. Let's slowly walk those hands back underneath those shoulders, pressing through the tops of the feet to close those knees. Tuck your toes, lift your knees just an inch off of the mat. As you exhale, extend the legs, shift your weight back towards those heels. Breathe, let's inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. Taking the gaze between your hands, stay high on the balls of the feet and slowly walk your feet in. In that forward fold position, take your nose towards your knees. That can be challenging. Use those fingertips to help balance. Stay strong through the core. Feel all those ankle muscles, feet muscles, leg muscles working hard. Slowly let your heels sink. Relax the weight of the upper body down. And ever so slowly, roll it up. Big shoulder roll at the top. Shoulders slide down and away. Let's take a step forward to the top of the mat. And inhale, reach. As you exhale, take a giant step back with that right foot. Back foot's at about a 45 degree angle. And we gaze out over that front middle finger. Adjust your feet however you need to. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little. And exhale, sink. Left elbow, left knee. Right arm circles up and over. Lengthening and reaching through those right fingertips. Breathe. Extended side angle. You can keep that left elbow resting on the knee, or if you wish, reach that right palm back, or I'm sorry, left palm towards that right inner thigh and reach in opposition. Lengthen. How's your breath? We inhale it back up to warrior two. Back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse warrior, lengthening and reaching down that back leg, lengthening and reaching through those left fingertips. And we inhale it back up to warrior two. Straighten that leg just for a moment. We're going to tie those motions together with our breath. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, sink low into that left leg. Our home base is warrior two. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, transitioning into extended side angle, either with that elbow down or those arms long, we inhale it back to warrior two. And exhale, reverse warrior, moving at your pace. Inhaling it back to warrior two. Remember, warrior two is your home base. And then exhale, we transition. Uh, either extended side angle or reverse warrior, and you just move. With your breath, if you need to straighten that front leg, yeah, absolutely. Straighten that front leg. You can do both poses with that straight leg and then sink back whenever you're ready. Last reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. Windmilling those arms down on either side of your foot. Back heel comes off the mat. Runner's lunge. Let's bring that back knee to the mat. Untuck the toes. Shift both hands to the inside of that left foot. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, roll that left knee out and away as you turn and take your gaze out over that left shoulder. Right hip drawn towards the earth. Inhale it back to center. Left foot flat on the mat. Left knee next to your shoulder. Exhale, roll it open. Inhale it back to center. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, roll it open. 
and inhale back to center. Hand on either side of your foot. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Sweep it back. And extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back heel to the mat, windmill your arms up to warrior two. Breathe, sink low into that right leg. Find your breath. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And exhale, sink. Right elbow, right knee, left arm circles up and over, lengthening and reaching. Long diagonal line down that left side. Right elbow can stay resting where it is or reach that right palm back to that left inner thigh, reaching in opposition. Extended side angle. And we inhale it back up to warrior two. Back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse warrior, lengthening and reaching through those right fingertips, left hand sliding down that back leg. Find your breath. And inhale it back up to warrior two. Again, let's straighten that right leg. Take a moment, tying those three poses together. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, sink back to your warrior two. Take a big breath in. And exhale, extended side angle, flowing with your breath from pose to pose, inhaling it back to warrior two always, using your exhales to transition to either that extended side angle or reverse warrior. Find your breath. And again, if you need to straighten that right leg, yep, you absolutely can. And then just bend it when you're ready. Taking care of your body, challenging yourself but being respectful, kind, encouraging, and real. Let's make this the last one, reverse warrior. And inhale it back to warrior two. Windmilling those arms down on either side of your foot, back heel comes off of the mat, and we're in a runner's lunge. Let's bring that back knee to the mat. Untuck the toes. Bring both hands to the inside of that right foot. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, let that right knee roll open as you turn and take your gaze out over that right shoulder. Left front of the hip towards the earth. Inhaling it back to midline. Knee right next to that right shoulder. And then as you exhale again, roll it out and away. Inhaling it back to center. Just working with your breath. Exhale, rolling it away. Inhale it back to center. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, let it roll out and away. Inhale it back to center. One hand on either side of your foot. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, sweep it back. And extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog, inhaling to high plank, crocodile down, press it through up dog, and exhale to down dog, taking the gaze between your hands, walk your feet in to forward fold, let's cross that right foot behind the left, bringing the ankles just as tightly as we can get them together, tucking the nose towards your knees. Let's walk the hands to the left, as far as you can walk them. Back through center and then to the right, as far as you can walk those hands, nose towards your knees. And back through to center. Release that right foot, cross the left behind the right. Bring those ankles just as tightly together as you can. Lift just slightly, walk those hands to the right. And back through center. 
and over to the left. Checking in with those hips, the IT bands, hamstrings and calves. And back to center we go, releasing that left foot. Shift your weight to your heels and slowly lower your bottom down. Coming into a tight little ball. Uh, just crossing, holding onto your forearms. You can crisscross those arms, holding on to the outsides of the ankles. Little tuck of your chin. Releasing your hands, lowering yourself down to boat pose, lifting the chest. Ah, breathe. Reaching down, taking a hold anywhere along the outside of your legs, we extend the right leg, lifting the chest. And release the right leg, extend the left. We're just alternating. Bend the left, extend the right. Bend the right, extend the left. So what's going on with your body? What do you feel? Can you feel the length in your spine? Release the left, let's do both. Extend and bend. Again, extend and bend. This time we're gonna extend. Now your knees might be bent, they might be long. We're gonna crisscross that right leg up and over the left. So if your knees are bent, just cross that right ankle over the left. If the legs are long, crisscross them. Breathe, how much of your weight can you release with those hands? If you need the support, keep it wherever that is. Breathe, bend the knees. Open the legs, extend the legs, support, crisscross the left leg, ankle. Now you might notice it's more challenging on one side. This is always my more challenging side. And hold, breathe, lifting through the chest. Those legs get heavy, it's crazy. And then open and bend. Soles of the feet come together. It's crazy how heavy your legs are in that crisscross position. It's a good one. Just relax that upper body. Let yourself stretch through that lower back, through the groin. A little tuck of the chin towards the chest. Slowly rolling it up. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's turn. Crisscrossing those legs to easy pose. Sitting up nice and tall, reach to the sky. As you exhale, right hand comes down, left arm up and over. Oh, reach, reach, reach. Give a little push with that right hand. Lift the left side of the rib cage. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, other side, left arm down, right arm up and over. Give a little push with that left hand. Lift the right side of the rib cage. And reach it up, both arms come up. And exhale, both arms open out to a T. Soft bend, and we're just going to sway. Just let those arms play, just wrapping it around as you rotate side to side. Come back to center, release those arms down by your sides. Press your palms towards the earth, lift the crown of the head towards the sky, close your eyes. As you exhale, release that right ear down towards your right shoulder. Press that left palm towards the earth. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And exhaling that left ear towards your left shoulder. Pressing that right palm down towards the earth. And breathe. Inhale it back to center, and as you exhale, release your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Bring your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers, and as you lean your head back into your hands, let your hands support your head. Open up those elbows wide. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Extend those arms to the sky. Lengthen, hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. Upper body heavy. Checking in with that lower back through the hips.
Inhale, circle the hands back by your hips. Big circle those arms up and overhead. Turn your palms face your front. Spread your fingers wide. Exhale, cactus arms. Open that chest. Squeeze those shoulders. Oh, that feels good. Inhale, reach one more time. And exhale, pull. Lift your gaze. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach. And exhale, pull the hands to heart center. Close your eyes for just a moment. Breathe. We take a moment to set our intention for the day. With a clear head, a body that feels strong and healthy. What would you like for your day? Already taken some moments to clear the head, to move the body, to create space in the mind and the body for adventure, for fun. Healthy and strong, you enter your day. May it continue and may you feel strong throughout the day. Let's gently lift the head, open those eyes, and a huge thank you for joining me today. Take care of yourselves. Be well. Have a magnificent rest of your day. And until the next time, my friend, light, love, and namaste.